everybody welcome back y'all i'm your host the wolf of crypto you guys are tuned in for another episode of the wolf of crypto pod today's episode is going to be about the uh the exodus wallet and uh before we actually dive into what i'll be talking about giving my uh review on exodus gotta say here folks uh the crypto market's having some nice rallies here we're having some nice rallies. Um, that's always good to see because uh, when you look at that, everything else that's happening in the world right now, especially when it comes to the economy. Wow. Yeah. Wherever I can get some extra funds, I'm taking it. But um, yeah, so today we're going to be talking about the Exodus wallet. Haven't had a real good chance to actually um, talk about this wallet since... Well, as of late, um, when it comes to wallets, trying to figure out, obviously, which wallet I want to fill up right now. Main focus is obviously accumulating, especially during these down times where prices are pretty cheap to get some of these cryptocurrencies. And the Exodus wallet is one of those non-custodial wallets where, yes, private keys means you own your crypto. So obviously all the crypto that's in this wallet I actually do own. It's not connected to uh, any exchanges or anything like that. But let's let's talk about it, man, because uh, I would say I've been what using the platform on and off for about a good two years or so, give or take. Um, the Exodus Bitcoin and crypto wallet, it's a uh, all in one wallet for managing and swapping over. 260 cryptocurrencies currently uh, because that number does continue to go up as I do add, you know, more cryptos here and there. And check this out. Now you do have the ability to have your NFTs on this wallet. Um, That was something that wasn't a feature when it first obviously started. These guys have been doing a lot of improvements uh, when it comes to the wallet and just adding more features to the actual platform itself. Um, so Exodus and what makes it stand out from some other wallets, uh, Exodus is a software wallet that can be accessed on your web browser, which that's also a new feature that I want to point out, um, because when I originally first started on Exodus, it was first the desktop. So you got the web browser, mobile desktop and hardware wallets meaning that you can manage your crypto assets from any device that you have access to, which obviously makes a great convenience uh, for those that are always on the go. And those of you that know that are involved in the crypto space, um, the way just the crypto economy works in itself, you know, you are going to typically be on the go, especially having (laughs) the funds if you i should say if you are able to just move differently um exodus does support over 260 cryptocurrencies and nfts um i was actually able to use one of my nfts from my other wallet send it over to exodus because i just wanted to kind of test it out to see how it will be uh showcased and it's pretty cool um again that wasn't a feature that wasn't always first on the platform so obviously you got bitcoin ethereum litecoin there's a lot of different currencies supported on the platform um making a great church for obviously investors people that just want to obviously manage their money in a different place especially when it comes to wallets um you know those of you that have been a part of the space if you don't take this stuff seriously yes you can get hacked we've seen it before it happens um but again with this there's a lot more obviously security because again 
when I say it's not connected to any exchange, it's really not. They have their own built in exchange. And again, we'll be talking about all these different features as the show goes on. But um, with Exodus, you can manage all of your assets in one place, avoid the hassle of having to use multiple wallets. Uh, one of the best features is the user friendly interface. The platform is designed to be easy to use, even those for that might be new cryptocurrency. You don't need to be a tech expert to use Exodus. All you got to do is simply download the wallet, create an account and you're ready to go. Um, it offers a built in exchange, which is going to allow you to swap out your crypto assets without leaving the wallet again. <coughs> <coughs> This makes it another great convenience because again, this means that you don't have to transfer your assets to an external exchange in order to trade them. So if you obviously are seeing the market, it's crashing, whether the case it be, you want to save some money in your portfolio. Um, this does, like I said, come in handy um, instead of having to try to obviously transfer those assets from your wallet. Then you got to transfer them to the exchange and then you got to trade them, yada, yada, yada. Um, and you guys know, Crypto does move fast. So um, when it's going down, it goes down quickly. So sometimes if you don't have the accessibility to always be, you know, by either your computer, phone, whatever the case it be, depending on how you obviously manage your assets, um, having everything obviously built in one, like all in one stop and shop, this makes it nice. So and also they do offer competitive rates. Um, so you are, you know, getting a good deal. We do decide to make that trade. Another benefit of using Exodus is the security features that are built into the wallet. Um, they got uh, advanced encryption to keep your assets safe. And the platform is regular audit to ensure that it meets the highest security standards. And it does offer that good old two factor authentication, giving you that extra layer of protection to your account. As far as the different wallets, uh, I've already kind of touched base on a little bit of them. Obviously, like I said, you have the software wallet. That's the ones that can be accessed on your web browser, mobile and desktop, and you can sync through all three of those. So it's pretty convenient to basically depend on whatever the device you are on at that time using. You can go back and forth. And then Exodus does offer a hardware wallet called the Exodus wallet. Now, that particular wallet, I want to say, is probably going to be connected through the Trezor wallet because that's their like little partner as far as hardware wallets go. Uh, that wallet is obviously designed to be more secure than the software wallet because it stores your assets offline away from those, those hackers, man, because... They're out there, folks. If you don't think they are, trust me, it, it, it can happen. It's happened to me. It sucks. And you don't want to be put in that situation. So as far as the just actual wallet itself, again, um, the summary of it is basically you got Bitcoin, all these different cryptos, which is, like I said, over 260 different ones on there. Um they do have staking features on the wallet, which is nice and which is something I'm using right now. Um, just, you know, printing that good old money, getting some extra rewards for contributing to the network um, and stake it. I'll go into real some real detail um, on one of these future episodes because uh, I am staking about a couple, about four or five different coins on Exodus along with some other wallets. Um, but again, also to remember, this wallet does have the capability to showcase your NFTs. And yes, NFTs on Ethereum as long, uh, excuse me, along with uh, Solana. So keep that in mind as well. The interface is user friendly. Again, it's real easy to use. Um, so if you guys are new to the crypto world, I would try out this one because um, some other wallets, uh, obviously what's been going on in the last couple of months, if you've been paying attention to news and everything that's been collapsing, you want to make sure you are keeping your crypto in a, you know, a good, secure wallet uh, and an easy to use wallet. So if you haven't had a chance to check out Exodus, again, I will add that to your list because this one is similar to the other wallet called Atomic, which I actually kind of 
flip flop between both of them because like i said i like the features on them and again i own this crypto so uh, as far as the web 3 that was something that the features on Exodus is pretty cool. I would say it's also really new too, because again, um, with the Web3 crypto, obviously this is the next evolution of blockchain technology. And this feature does allow you to interact with those good old decentralized application, also otherwise known as dApps. And you can access your decentralized finance protocols, you know, the good old world of DeFi. Exodus has integrated Web3 features directly into its wallet, which means you can use it to turn your Chrome and your Bray browsers into Web3 browsers. And when I saw the capability of it being on Brave, I was pretty excited because, again, um, those of you that know about Brave, that is the browser where you can, yeah, you're in their token, the bad token, uh, just for doing what you would normally do on Chrome. And then um, with the Web3 features, like I was saying, you got the range of defied apps, which I'm actually now that that feature is a part of this wallet. Um, it's going to make me go back to my Ethereum wallet to see if uh, if Lido, which is one of the staking platforms where I stake my Ethereum. Now I'm kind of curious to see if I'll be able to do it through my Exodus wallet because that was kind of one of the reasons why I took off my ETH on um, Exodus and actually moved over to my MetaMask wallet. So now that uh, the five features are again accessible directly from your wallet, meaning obviously you can manage your NFTs, swap your crypto assets, having a access range of the five protocols all in one place. Again, the DeFi protocols. That is, it's basically like Candyland for putting your money on steroids. I, that's, I feel like that's like a good analogy for the DeFi world. Cause again, you can, you can do a lot of things over there. Um, so obviously, like I said, this does make it a great convenience for investors that want to manage your crypto assets and interact with the latest blockchain technology. And uh, obviously with one of these key benefits with the Web3, wallet features it's going to offer you the best swap rates across multiple chains meaning that you can swap your crypto assets for the best available rates across multiple chains we got ethereum binance smart chain and more um this great feature for those that want to get obviously the most out of their investments and make sure that they're getting the best rates available so Again, having multiple chains in this, again, this feature on Exodus is huge. Uh, it was really huge. Um, compared to, like I said, when I first started using it, I started off with the desktop, then from the desktop, moved to the mobile. Um, and then obviously now having the browser extension, having the ability to have your NFTs, access to Fi, other dApps that are obviously part of the world. It's just been kind of kind of cool to see. Um, obviously, these guys are hard at work, and you know, again, that Defy protocol, that Defy world. I'm telling y'all, you haven't done your homework over there. It's, I'm telling you, your money will. Whew, it's sickening, but um, yeah. So, and it's also worth mentioning that these uh web three wallet features also offer advanced security features because obviously your private keys are stored securely within your wallet meaning that you're going to have full control of your assets at all times um additionally all transactions are encrypted and secured using the latest security standards so ability to control your crypto and your disco crypto wallet mobile wallet web browser you got it all. You have it all. Um, so that's that's again, that's what I'm saying. With the desktop wallet, that one's, you know, obviously designed to be secure, easy to use. Uh, it pretty much has all the same features that you would see on your mobile with the encryption, two-factor authentication. Um, you manage all your crypto assets right there. You can swap. So again, desktop is really just obviously mainly used for if you're on the computer at the time. You know, if you don't have any ability to get the mobile wallet. So 
Again, the Exodus wallet, also another feature that they added. Um, they now have a referral program. So um, you're going to be have the ability to earn off your friend swaps and get some USDC. So hello, another little incentive to obviously use Exodus because, man, if you get your friends to use it, we'll, we'll all be earning some USDC for every swap we do because, again, not always having to necessarily transfer your assets to an exchange and having the capability to do it all right there in the wallet. I would say it's a pretty good darn wallet. So that's going to wrap up today's episode here on the Exodus all in one wallet. Um, obviously, I'll probably definitely be talking about this particular wallet in the upcoming near future episodes. Probably will compare it to some other wallets as well. Uh, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode appreciate you guys tuning in coming to check out the wolf of crypto pod again i am your host the wolf of crypto and until next time y'all y'all take it easy here peace